On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make this nautical themed baby shower vase. I'm going to take my Judy Kins Anchor st Stencil and spray it with my stencil spray from Etch-All. This will help it to um, adhere to my glass vase. To help it stay in place so it won't roll, I'm going to put a towel right there. And then I'm going to line up my stencil exactly where I want it to be. To help hold my ends down, I'm going to put a little bit of removable tape. Now, you want to make sure all your edges on your stencil are stuck down smoothly. And then I'm going to put my Etch All Etching Cream. And I'm going to make sure my anchor is filled really nice with a lot of this cream. It kind of looks like pudding because it got too hot but it still etches fine. And the thicker it is on there, I have found personally that I get a little bit better itch etching. Now I am going to peek on the inside so I can see if there's any spots that I think need a little bit more. When you've got this covered, you have to wait 15 minutes and then you rinse it off and your etching will be done. Our etch-all cream you can keep using, so you want to take it off and put it back in the jar, your excess, after your 15 minutes. So take off as much as you can and then run it under water and your anchor is done. And when you're done, and you take off your stencil, here's your anchor, right in there. Now I've decided I want stripes on my um, vase. I cut out using the etch mask material. Now I cut them in half inch strips. The first strip, I'm going to put right over each edges so that I'm covering a little bit of my anchor. And I'm just going to the neck of my base. And then down. And I'm going to go all the way around in approximately half inch intervals until the whole thing is covered. So that I can get my spaces right, I'm putting a little piece of the etch mask in between each one so that I'm spacing it fairly even. Now, each face you have to, if it's a different width, you're going to have to measure it differently and find out what your spacing is. I continued until I got all the way around the boss. For me, it was approximately 10 strips. I added a little bit more of the etch mask onto my anchor to protect it so that I would make sure I wouldn't get any of the etch all etching cream on it. Now that we have stripes all the way around, I'm going to put the etch cream all the way around. The same as we did the anchor, you want to make sure you've got everything covered, every one of your stripes. Our etch all cream, you can keep using, so you want to take it off and put it back in the jar, your excess, after your 15 minutes. So take off as much as you can and then run it under water and your anchor is done. Okay, I finished washing and drying my vase. Now it's not until you see it dried that you can actually see the etching. At first you think you've done something wrong and then all of a sudden the magic appears. So my nautical vase is now ready to add a little twine around the base and fill it with flowers for the baby shower. We 
hope you're enjoying our Bouncing Baby series, sponsored by Etchall and Judykins. Please follow us on social media. Sign up on our website and you'll be entered to win a prize package full of products from some of our favorite sponsors. And remember, as we always say, when creativity knocks, open the door. Open the door.